this is how this same fat congeals. This is how an artery should be. But this fat is already blocking the artery wall. And this is what we do on a daily basis because we can't see it. So what we're just trying to tell you is that enemy to nutrition are basic things that we need to do that vitamins and minerals can be secured in our food by the method at which we prepare them and which is very important. And if you want to stay healthy, you need to eat right. You've been eating but yet they tell you you're not eating right because you're making a lot of mistakes and these are the mistakes we are bringing to you via Trend TV because why? We are concerned about what people eat. My name is Francis Ojile. Uh, I'm a nutritionist, a food coach, and basically um, what we do in Frank Kitchenet is we showcase individuals in the society the best way they can turn the food they eat into medicine. Because why? Food is the fuel to the human body. Yeah, and food is nutrition. So the basic thing is just that are we really eating right? So that brings us to what we're going to be discussing today, and it has to do with the enemy to our day-to-day -day nutrition. What are the enemy to our nutrition? Why are people having this lifestyle disease so rampant in our, in our society now, unlike the way it used to be before? Now, the reason is because there's a lot of things we do that we've altered, literally, the nutrients in what we eat. World Health Organization found out that from the purchase of our organic food, our plant-based food, we literally lost 85% vitamins and minerals while eating that food. Now, how do we lose that nutrient? The first thing we do is peeling. Peeling. When I say peeling, tuber crops grows under the soil. Scientists found that any plant that grows under the soil, 50% of their natural medicine lie beneath the skin, right under the skin. So immediately you take out that peel, you've taken out 50% of that. So and these tuber crops are yam, carrot, we have cassava, cocoa yam, and so on. So what you need to do is you don't need to take out the peel. What you need to do is wash it thoroughly with vegetable brush and it comes clean, then you chop it and cook. And guess what? They have water in them, so you literally don't even need water to cook them. That is very rich in vitamins and minerals. You are actually taking care of your health. Now, the next one is, I'm actually breaking down how we lose 85%, so we already have 50% from peeling. Now, the next one now is cooking in water. Now, cooking in water, like I said, our plant-based are water mineral soluble. There is water inside of them. So it means that once you chop them and you start washing them with water, the color, the, the water starts changing color. So now, when time you see color leaving your food, you are losing the vitamins. And anytime you taste the food, which is the flavor, and the taste is not there, you've lost the minerals. So what it means is that you don't need to chop your vegetables, for example, from the market. You need to bring it down home, wash them thoroughly, Yes, once you wash them, take out all the sand, immediately you start chopping. You don't need to wash anymore because, because they are water mineral soluble. Once you cut and you had water, you see color. So you don't need to cut your vegetable before washing. Wash before cutting. Doing that, if you don't do that that way, you've lost 10%, making 60. Now the next one now is oxidation. Oxidation is a reaction to light and hair. The hair we breathe and the light react to our food. Take an apple for an example. When you bite an apple, what happens? You see that it starts changing. That dark thing we start seeing in that fresh apple is oxidation. Oxidation is a reaction to light and hair. You know, if just like for, for yam too, so you cut your yam and you eat, you, take, you eat one part and leave the other part. When you go back to the yam after some couple of days, what happens? It changes. That's what we call oxidation. Oxidation reacts to our food. So what it means is that when we, when we are cooking or wherever we are, once you open your food, make sure you cover it immediately. So that's why I said that when you cook food today, the next day you want to cook that same food, the nutrient changes because the taste will change because the air and the light are start taking out the nutrient. You see, those days our parents, especially our mother can relate to this, when they cook, they usually lose appetite. They used to lose appetite eating the food because why? They inhaled the food. And now the reason is because inhaling that food, your body senses it as food. It's not until you eat. That's why I say that those who are on ICU, intensive care unit, they don't need to pass um, food through their mouth. They pass vitamins and minerals through their body. One month, two months, three months, six months, they are alive. Now the reason is because they are putting in vitamins and minerals. So 
how you get the nutrients, the body doesn't care. So by inhaling alone, you can be okay. So that's what it means. So we need to cook against oxidation. When you cook, cover the food. Don't let the food smell out because once you perceive that food, you're losing the nutrients, which is what? 5% enemy to nutrition. I already talked about 50, 10, then this is 5. We're going to 85. Now the next one now is what? Excessivity. Excessivity is reaction to boiling, steaming point, and microwaving point. Now, boiling point is 100 degrees. Scientists found out that any food cooked around 100 degrees literally lose the nutrients. So you need to cook below the boiling point. So how do you get 90 degree percentage when you cook is by cooking with the lower heat. So you need to cook the lower the heat, the better your food cooks and the more nutrition you save in your food. So it means that you don't need to cook with high heat. The only food you can cook with high heat are dry grains like beans, rice, dry corn and all that. And our livestock, ruminant animal. Those ruminant animals need a lot of heat to penetrate into the bone and cook the meat well. Same thing with our livestock. But when it comes to vegetables, they are perishable for crying out loud. So why do you need to put heat on them? So you cook them low, medium, low, eat. And that way you see your vegetable looking very green. And when you eat it, you come alive. And that's the truth. Because if you want to stay healthy, you need to eat right. You've been eating, but yet they tell you you're not eating right because you've been making a lot of mistakes. And these are the mistakes we are bringing to you via Trend TV. Because why? We are concerned about what people eat. Now the next one now is what? Steaming point. I used to always think that steaming point is even lower than boiling point. Until when I get to know this, steaming point is higher than boiling point. That's the truth. You can check. Because why? If the water boils first before it starts steaming, steaming is about evaporation. That is when it evaporates. For science students can relate to this. So steaming point is higher. So you don't need to steam because you are cooking below the boiling point. The last one under excessivity is what microwaving point. Microwave operates over 260 degrees of heat. So what it means is that microwave is not even suitable to add, to put our vegetable inside. And now the microwave, as we know, had serious issues that has to do with our health, which we all know. But it's just that a lot of people just ignorantly don't care because why they want their food to get warm fast. But the truth is the microwave has what they called electromagnetic rays, electromagnetic. It's radiation. It vibrates the water molecules in our food over some billion times per sec. Something like this. Over a billion times per second. That is what the microwave does to your food. There's no fire there. So automatically, what happens is that research found out that any food that passes through the microwave destroys the protein molecules in the food, creates new radically unnatural compounds. Most alarming, the subject health in that food gets deteriorated eating from the microwave. Now, guess what? Their findings is once you eat food from the microwave, what happens is that your white blood cell count rose as response to infection. Now, because when you eat anything that's infectious, the, what the white blood cell does is that it tries to fight against it. So it keeps rising, eating from food warm from the microwave. Now, what it is is that the healthy hair cholesterol, which is the lower density lipoprotein, bad cholesterol rather, increases. Then the good one, which is HDL, higher density lipoprotein, which is the good fat, what happens? It depreciates. Now, guess what? Because we all have cancer cells in our system, it becomes cancerous, which is what we call carcinogens, carcinogenic. So it means that the cancer-causing agent in that food increases automatically. So when you hit it, you activate the cancer cells in your body. Then the last one now is that it, the digestion problems, which has to do with colon. That's why I see America has the highest rate of colon cancer today because why? America don't use the gas stove like we use in Africa. You know, they use the microwave to literally to bake, to fry, to do all sorts of things. And that's why it's like ratio 3 to 1 in American women are going chemotherapy on one cancer or the other. But they, they too are creating awareness for people to know the importance of eating right by warming your food with your normal conventional way instead of the microwave. So what it is is that there is radiation going on in the microwave. So we need to be very careful eating more from it because the more we want something that is more convenient for us, the more we are creating harm to our body, which has to do with accumulation of what we've done over the years. Now the last one is fat and oils. Fat and oils. So I'm going to show you guys something. Now this is fat. This is how fat is. Oil comes, congeals and become fat. Now for all the oils you take, all the oil you've been taking from January down to December, you, you don't excrete them out. They store in your body. This is how it forms in the body. 
And the truth is, the fact that Mr. A is slim and Mr. B is B doesn't mean that Mr. B that is big and Mr. A that is slim, then Mr. A is more healthier than Mr. B. No, they are eating the same food. And that's why you see that a lot of people, you'll be wondering, how come somebody is very slim and they have high cholesterol? What do you expect? The blood is consuming, is taking in the fat. The fat is storing in the artery wall, in the blood, in the gallstone, in the liver and all that, shrinking into the person. It is even safer for the fat to show outside so that you know what to do, work on yourself, go for physical exercises, eat right and all that, than you being very lanky and yet you are walking and all of a sudden you just slums and die. All because of this. We eat so much of fries. Now that's why they said in this generation we are the overfed generation where we eat so much of food. There are so much of food, but most of all this food are processed food. We are living in can and we are we are also eating in can. When I say living in can, we live in an airtight container. Everywhere is closed. We live with air conditioning. Our car is air conditioned. Our office is air conditioned. Then the food we are eating is also canned, covered. But plants that we know before Christ or after Christ has always been existing. They never expire. So what it means is that all those oily things you are taking, it look crunchy and look nice from the eyes, but do our body really needs it? High cholesterol. High cholesterol. This is what we call that is related to also where we call cardiovascular. The state where the person <gasps> the person has drops. This is it. It causes plaque to build around the artery wall. You know, guess what? You need to see something. See, this is it. So this is just what happened. This is how this same fat con conjures. This is how an artery should be. But this fat is already blocking the artery wall. And this is what we do on a daily basis because we can't see it. So what we're just trying to tell you is that enemy to nutrition are basic things that we need to do that vitamins and minerals can be secured in our food by the method at which we prepare them and which is very important. And what I've shared today, have, they all have practical way of saying, you can easily see how this can be done. So we're just trying to share this with you to, for you to know that, okay, it is important to know this and how do I get this done, which we're also going to let you know. Thank you very much, guys. Follow us on our social media handles at Frank underscore Kitchen 05. Yeah, on Google as Frank Kitchen. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.